Greetings, folks. Welcome back to Digital Daylight Gaming. This is the anti clause today. Uh, I'm going to be playing a game called Bullshot. It is a uh, retro-style shooter game that's kind of fun. Uh, it's got a very 90s feel to it. It's got a very cool set of options for uh, the... Uh, oh, what's it called? The uh, graphic settings. Like, I have it set to CRT right now. It also has the option for, like, VHS, a couple others. Um... It's got a, a Contra kind of feel to it, independent shooting kind of thing. I always like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. okay. Don't you dare. <laughs> yeah. You get some, uh, you eventually get some different guns. I think right now you just start with a machine gun. These guys give you access to a flamethrower, though. And that does pretty good. Okay. I'm just gonna melt the faces. You burns them. You burninate them. Give them the fire. Give them the pain. Kinda hard to see what these are sometimes, though. Yeah. You can do this. So it's good for messing people up. Just kind of give them a bull charge. Because you're a bull. I mean, that's how you do. These things right here, like, in order to open certain doors, you just have to kill enough people. Which is an odd way of doing things. Like, I prefer the good old, you know, switch method. But, you know, murder. Murder will open some doors for you. I think you just kill enough people and they just kind of want you gone. I want to get that because I want more flamethrower ammo. I like burning people. <laughs> yeah, get it. Checkpoint there. Always handy. Fire away. Don't like those guys with rockets, they're to hit you a lot. Way too easy. No, that one's too hard. Had to go a bit try hard there for a second. But, uh, yeah. There's that level complete. Yeah. Okay. 
Mm, gotta kill some more people. Push this button. This game requires a lot of concentration. Now I don't understand what people talk about when they say, like, it's hard to talk and play a game at the same time. Like, it really is. Burn, baby, burn. Burn the Bernie bags. Burn the Bernie bags. I don't know what I'm actually doing there, but... Yeah, just suddenly rockets everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. It's pretty far apart checkpoints too, which is always worrisome. But I notice I don't think there's a, a, a finite number of continues or anything. See, and I don't know. Sometimes it does this, and I don't know if my, it's my joystick sticking. Well, that's not good. Yeah! That was a tough ass fight. I did not much appreciate for him. actually mean to quit but I ended up quitting anyway and that's okay because my blood pressure is getting a little bit too high uh but that's bullshot interesting game I wish the controls handled just a little bit better it's got that complete retro feel and I mean retro feel is in the controls aren't that great 
they always feel a little bit sticky and I actually tried it with a couple of controllers just to make sure it wasn't my controller and uh, but no other than that I mean it, it's it's quite a fun game I should actually try it I might try it with keyboard and mouse at some point just to see if that doesn't handle a little bit better uh, but I mean if it's a retro game I should be able to use my controller and it uses both sticks you know one to aim kind of thing and one to shoot and or one to move but uh, yeah, I, I bought it on Steam for like five bucks, so it was definitely worth checking out. Uh, so I'll put a link down below to it for uh, on Steam if you're interested in kind of thing. But uh, that's it for me today, folks. You have a great day. Goodbye.